Hello and welcome to the course on Docker Basics. This video we will see how to use bind mount to share data with host machine and container. So we have seen how to use uh, Docker volume to share data between the cluster. I mean between the container. But here we will see how to share a particular directory with host machine. So we use a uh, call bind mount and uh, we use the same option or similar option that we used for docker volume so let me check uh, what are the images available docker image ls i have a uh, nginx image available i'm going to uh, create a directory for mounting uh, say for example mkdir slash opt or any directory you can use uh, if this directory that we are uh, using for bind mount doesn't exist so it will create that particular directory so i am going to create uh, a directory nginx slash html sorry uh, html then uh, this directory doesn't exist so i can use iphone p option so this is the directory which is available on my uh, host operating system so what i'm going to do here is so creating a container and uh, mounting uh, this directory with the nginx uh, directory so for that i am just using docker uh, run hyphen uh, t hyphen d for detachable mod then hyphen uh, p for port mapping then use hyphen v flag then this host machine directory and uh, the directory which i want to mount inside the container so the slash user share nginx html so this is the directory inside the container and this is the directory on the host machine and uh, i can just use name uh, nginx 01 and uh, what is the image name so i can use nginx colon latest so this is my image name or and this is the name of my container and this is the my bind mount option and this directory is on my uh, local machine or i can say my host machine and this is the one inside the container so i'm mounting here so whatever the contents uh, inside this directory will be mounted to this directory inside the container and iphone p option used for uh, port mapping whatever the exposed port will be mapped to available port in the host machine and d for detachable mode so that it will run in the background mode go ahead and hit enter and uh, use the command docker container ls and we can see uh, this is listed and uh, 32768 uh, that is a port and uh, so first we will check what is the port of this host machine uh, this is 192.168.56.101 so let's open one uh, terminal so use that IP and port here so HTTP colon slash slash what is the IP address so this is the IP address and use that IP address colon that port uh, so we are not getting any anything here so this is from the nginx maybe that index html file is not there so i have a sample index html file so this is the file and uh, that is with uh, this message and i can copy this file to uh, slash opt nginx html so cp index.html slash opt nginx html because this is the directory which i mounted with the container now if i refresh uh, this page i should get this message and uh, if i modify that okay let me go inside this directory and uh, we'll edit this index html and uh, welcome nginx okay and here i can just change my message so bind mount edit or something 
and uh, so message from I can say some some buying mount or whatever it may be so save this now if I open this page and refresh see welcome to buying mount edit so modified message and uh, so whatever the editing we have done here inside that file is updated here so this is nothing like uh, our container whatever the container we created is um, mounted uh, one directory of slash opt nginx html with uh, the directory or main directory inside the container which is slash user share nginx html so we use iphone v option along with the docker run command to do the bind mount which is used for sharing file between the host machine and the container i hope this is very clear so with that i am concluding this demo we'll see in the next video thank you for watching bye